Hello everybody, today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to get your ELI9341 TFT display working on Armbian. Now to begin with, you'll need an orange pie, working, HDMI, a monitor, SD card with flashed with Armbian, not not Raspbian because um, it's it doesn't have the default, so it's, it's not going to be pain pain to get um, Armbian up and running successfully. So first thing you want to do to begin with is you want to go to their web page and click download. And then you want to scroll down until you find Orange Pi 1 because this tutorial is based off the Orange Pi 1. This tutorial will only work for the Orange Pi 1 since um, the Orange Pi 1 has the pins 90 degrees clockwise I'm pretty sure so if you want to get this working on your other like orange pie plus or plus plus thing then you have to um, find a pin diagram for that which is pin number one you can just look at the arrow um, that's how you find out pin one you want to download the Jesse desktop not not server or the other server once you have downloaded it, which I have, and you need to extract it, I'm pretty sure it will extract as a dot raw. If not, it will be a default file. It makes sure it's 2.82 gigabytes once it's extracted. Normal file is like 700 gigs. I mean, no, what am I saying? 700 megabytes. Well, um, and the second program you have to download is Win32 Disk Imager. It will be in the description. Um, you guys can download that at from sourceforge.net. Don't download from anywhere else because this tool, um, from other sources, have lots of malwares and adwares. So once you have got this downloaded, this software, you want to watch my last other tutorial, my um, full setup. Basically, you just want to replace Raspbian with Armbian, basically. Um, it's going to be the same tutorial, no difference at all by flashing the image. Once you're in the Orange Pi desktop environment, you want to first open up Terminal. Once you have opened up Terminal, you want to write here, Super User Root. Now this will change your account to root after clicking enter. Once that's done, you want to write there start x which is followed by like that once you have click entered you should see a new desktop environment logged in as root the first thing you want to do is um, download the file see if you are successfully successfully in root you should see this more information will be in the description. So um, now you want to locate your file. Wait. First, you want to download the file. I have it over here. Now it's named as um, start up files. You can download it from the description below too. And this file is really necessary because in the boot up it will initialize your TFT and it will boot into like um, your desktop environment will be in your TFT now with this file what you want to do is you want to drag and drop into um, file system slash etc somewhere here there you go and you want to drag and drop these two files in there so if it says it already contains the file modules then replace all because there's already file name module uh, modules if you have a fresh uh, boot up then you can replace it normally if you have like um retro arch or something then you need to um add the module which is for later um i'm going to be doing a tutorial for